Hello there, Royal Viewers. This is the VGamer X. I'm here playing Ratchet and Clank, the original. Um, this was the game, right, in that post I made, this was the game that got the most, um, votes, so... This is I'll be playing. And now, anyway, am I continuing the trend of playing these games out of order, because I played the, I played the third, I played Up Your Arsenal going Commando years ago, going Commando being blind, and this will be, and like with Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper, in the Sly Cooper series, this will be another <laughs> PS2 trilogy, I'll platform for trilogy I'll be done with. Save the game. And as you can see, yeah, like with Going Commando, I'm playing this through the HE collection. Because I don't have a physical copy of this on the PS2. Kaizo Plateau, Planet Velda, 1130th something time. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Approaching Planet Vilden, 1147 AM, local time. Crash landing? Must investigate. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice for your winter calendar to be traveled. Thank you. You just gotta get some extra money for the road. Um. Ah yes, we should we could use the good old subtitles. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this game, unlike Going Commando, which I played through blind, I haven't played it. I didn't play this game as much as Up Your Arsenal, but I've played through it before. So there might be some stuff I might remember, stuff that I won't. Who knows? I'll probably end up sucking still anyway because this game. Last time I played this game, if I recall, it it was pretty difficult, and part was because you know. Some, because I grew up with Up Your Arsenal, so some of the stuff here is somewhat different. Like the gameplay is mostly the same, but there, but the elements are like because you might have seen the health bar is just those four dots instead of just a full on meter. And then, um, well, I guess and then Going Commando had that segmented meter. And Ratchet has his lucky bomb hand. You like that? Three bombs. While you're out here on a, on a plan like this, you might as well keep keep yourself defended. Why not have a why not have a glove that throws bombs? Out the way. Kinda like this. Basically just grab it and then boom. You're healthier.
course, I gotta get myself some money. I just love the lovely sound of bolts clacking into your pocket. Also, yeah, it's still kind of weird just seeing seeing Ratchet's, like, Lombax feet. So I'm so used to him, like, wearing shoes. Here you go. This is a little detail I like, I do like. I kind of wish they kept it for later games was the fact that the the specific um, ammo had, had, they actually used, like, the um, little icon you see up in the upper left. I thought that was a nice feature. Not only... Yeah, whatever. Not even just for detail, but it's also like... You, because like, you knew what ammo you were getting. Here you go. Also, man, just, it's also like looking how look at how plain Ratchet's um, wrench looks like. Like, see how it all just started. Like, it, this thing, the way this thing looks, it was just a simple tool, and then just seeing it evolve and throughout the trilogy. So you're getting used to Ratchet's old voice. Hello, citizens of my race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drake, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you? You might ask. Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change of mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun, where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your widely sniveling, snuff-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... <coughs> We're still on. Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this, wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. Chairman Drake's flagship, Velden Orbit. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. 
Back on Chairman Drake's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Clark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Clark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you you beauty. Through the atmosphere of Planet Novalis. One of the things about this game is that there are like multiple mission paths, so we could de go down this elevator and see what's going on there, or we can go, or we can go up here and see what other missions await us. So, for the hell of it, why not? Can we buy anything? Oh yeah, we got this lovely gentleman up here. Oh, okay, for some reason, I was looking at the second number, I thought, is that how much ammo I'm getting? It only holds 40, I was like, oh, that's the number of bolts. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's a nice one. That's it. Pirate, Pyroster may come later. Looks like something's going down. So you, we also have to, have to remember, even though we have the second build sidekick on our back, we there are certain ab abilities we do not have access to yet. Unlike to the, unlike the pre, the uh, well, not not previous games, the sequels. So again, I I grew up I grew up with up the arsenal, so I'm still kind of used to stuff. Like again, like I mentioned Ratchet's voice. Like I don't think Michael Kelly's that bad. I think he's. Not good, but I wonder what would happen if he stuck around, even though I personally prefer James Arnold Taylor's voice. Because I think Mikey works well with um, Ratchet here. And it's also like even hearing Clank's voice here, it's kind of like the whole, like, um, it's kind of like listening to, like, season one Homer Simpson, like, hearing how they, hearing the voice, how they sounded as the character when they started, because... Comparing Clank's voice here to how he sounded in, um, and then listening it to an up your arsenal, it's a bit different. You was still, like, working into it. Hmm. Okay. Can we not swim? Ah, yes, we can. Oh. We have another slightly set of stairs. Ah, and I see our next location. And it's probably. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, that's right, I have to use those things. I don't know why I just, just glossed over them. A 
plus with all this money we're getting, we'll I'll probably get able to get the pyrocyter pyrocyter once I get back. Hello there, sir. Alright, remember, remember what I said about affording stuff, affording a new weapon? Yeah, scratch that. Before we do that, let's see if we can um, get ourselves some extra, extra money before we hand over 500 of ours to him. Here you go. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. 